everybody. Uh, so today I'm doing my video on Lox of Fame Shampoo and Conditioner. And what makes these products different from other products that you will find out on the market and what makes them special. Okay. So you guys all know if you've watched my videos or if you know anything about me that I had cancer a few years back and had a really, really tough time with my hair. It was, um, I make jokes about it, like it was resembled a Brillo pad. And it really, really did. I mean, it was really dry. It was breaking off at the ends. It was real fuzzy, and it wouldn't grow. I mean, it was a, it was a nightmare. I have a picture that I showed you in my No Scary Harry video that was a before and after that you could actually see my scalp through, like, the back part of my hair. I mean, it looked like a really horrible, ugly, fried wig. Um, but it was my hair, and it was the reality, and they really needed products uh, to be using products that infused health back into my hair. They would help with breakage, they would help with shine, um, would help with hair fall, that would help with, um, you know, just the overall frizziness, just the overall condition of my hair. I really needed good products, and I couldn't use um, drugstore products. So... What, let's talk about what, um, why we have bad hair days and what makes a good hair day and what makes a bad hair day. It's the cuticle. The cuticle is like shingles on a roof. Like if you take a piece of hair, there are these ridges. And when we shampoo our hair, the cuticle opens. It expands. And what we want to do is we want to put, we want to put herbs and ingredients in our hair that will help tighten the cuticle and that will seal it so that we will have really nice, soft, non-frizzy hair. Like, my hair is naturally wavy. And if I don't use some stuff to seal my cuticle, I will look like the mountain woman. And we don't want to look like the mountain woman. I mean, seriously, my hair will be big and weird and I don't have those problems anymore now that I'm using the shampoo and conditioner and the No Scary Harry. So let me talk to you guys about what are the ingredients in there that will help us to have a really good smooth cuticle. Number one is comfrey. Comfrey is a protein herb and it has a lot of allantoin in there. Allantoin actually um, boosts cell rejuvenation in the scalp and enables us to have really strong, healthy hair. From here down, our hair is dead. But we don't want it to look dead, we don't want it to feel dead, and we don't want it to be not strong so that when we brush through it, it won't snap. The comfrey root will really help infuse good protein into this hair so that we will look like we have beautiful, fabulous, healthy hair. Also, it has a high percentage of mucilage, mus excuse me, mucilage. Mucilage is in marshmallow. I'm not talking about the marshmallow that you put in your hot chocolate. Um, I'm talking about the plant or the herb, the marshmallow. And this, the comfrey, has more mucilage than the marshmallow. So in, in other words, you will have really soft, beautiful hair. Co um, calendula. Calendula is a wonderful herb for people that have seborrhea, dandruff, little babies that have cradle cap. Um, you know, cradle cap is that uh, dry skin on the top of the, the scalp. I mean, you could use my shampoo for babies because it's completely safe and natural. And the seborrhea and dandruff is a big problem for people, you know. A lot of people have dry scalps, and you really want to moisturize the scalp and condition it, and that's what calendula does. Burdock root. Burdock is huge, especially if you have a lot of hair fall. That was my problem. I was losing lots of hair every day, like we all do every day. But because of my medicine, I was losing a lot more than other people. I have this friend. Her name is Kelly, and she has this more beautiful, I mean, I, she looks like Pocahontas. She has this beautiful black hair. But she's always complaining that, you know, she loses tons and tons and tons of hair all the time when she washes it. Well, she needs to be using a shampoo that has burdock in there, and that won't happen as much, you know. Especially as we age, we, we lose a lot of hair, more hair than we do in our 20s or in our teens. 
So you want to um, actually use um, herbs that will help you with the hair fall. It also helps with hair breakage, split ends. Um, burdock is, a, is an awesome herb, and so you need to be using a shampoo that has a burdock in there if you really want to have beautiful, healthy hair and hair that will grow because the burdock root actually will help um, stimulate the hair follicle as well. Also, panthenol. Panthenol is a hydrating form, form of vitamin B5, and you really have to have um, something to hydrate your hair and to um, condition the hair if you don't want it to, to feel dry or look dry. Um, you know, we do a lot to our hair chemically and physically. Um, by the way, I will be doing a video on the kind of hair product um, that I use to highlight my hair that is completely natural. But if you are not a blonde, you can't use it because it doesn't have any chemicals like peroxide or ammonia or bad stuff in there that's going to hurt, that's going to like PPD, the bad stuff that will actually harm you. Um, but I will tell you, I mean, I'll fess it all up. Um, I'm going to do a video on the makeup and the hair stuff, everything. Um, so anyway, stay tuned for that. Um, but we, well, what I'm trying to say is we do a lot to ourselves chemically um, and physically as far as flat irons and that kind of thing. And we really have to infuse our hair back with hydration. And panthenol is um, a vital ingredient in my products. Also, um, let's see, oh, wheat germ. Wheat germ is a rip, wheat germ. Why did I say wheat germ? Wheat protein. I didn't mean wheat germ. <laughs> where that came from. Um, wheat protein. Okay, wheat protein is in the conditioner. It's the only product I have that is not gluten free. Okay, all my other products are gluten free. The conditioner is not. I had to weigh my choices. I don't have a gluten allergy. Um, a lot of friends that I have do have a gluten allergy but are able to use my conditioner. So it really depends on how far you are on the spectrum on the gluten thing. Uh, but I really needed it in there because not only for the protein that the wheat protein provides, but the amino acids. The amino acids that are in the wheat protein are readily available to the scalp. So when they go on the hair, the protein coats the hair and um, the amino acids uh, are able to do their job. So the, um, the protein um, allows the amino acids to stay in place so that they're able to um, you know, really activate and um, really provide the uh, nutrients that our hair needs. And amino acids are huge throughout our entire body, um, even our hair. Uh, let's see, rosemary. If you want your hair to grow and you want really, really beautiful long hair, then you need to be using a shampoo that has rosemary in there. Um, if you have anybody that, a friend that you know, has bald spots in the back and they just can't seem to grow that area, they need to be using something with rosemary in there. Rosemary not only stimulates the hair follicle, but it has been known for centuries to help people with balding and thinning hair. So please, use a product with rosemary in there like my Loxifame shampoo and conditioner have it in there, okay? And all my products, like I've talked about all this time, all the ingredients in there are meant to do something, okay? Um, they're all, they all have a purpose right down to the scent. And um, a lot of my scents are citrus, not only because they smell fabulous and they're unisex, but because, you know, citrus, citrus ingredients do a lot of things for you. My tangerine, my shampoo and conditioner, not only makes it smell divine, but the, sh the tangerine actually will help uh, eliminate residue and scalp buildup and hair buildup, but it will promote shine and clarify the hair and really just make the hair beautiful and help with the strength and um, so you won't hear that snap of your hair. Um, so tangerine is awesome. I love it, having to take a whiff um, because it does so many things. Okay, um, one thing I want to talk to you guys about um, before I uh, talk about um, some one other thing is if you take anything away from this video, it is to please stop using drugstore shampoos and conditioners. Because, I mean, when you go into the drugstore, you'll see a shampoo that might cost a dollar and a shampoo that might cost $17. In most cases, you're buying the exact same shampoo with a different label slapped on it. 
and I know this from being in the manufacturing business, I mean, I really do, um, you're paying for um, chemicals and, and ingredients that are in there to promote shelf life. I mean, we don't have shampoos that sit on the shelf in, in my bathroom for uh, a year, and my shampoo will last for two years, and it's completely natural. I, there's, so there's no need to go into the drugstore and spend that kind of money. I mean, if you're if you're going to go in the drugstore, if you're dead set on getting a shampoo that cause that that is drugstore, buy the dollar one and save your sixteen dollars because you're getting the same shampoo. A lot of times, the you'll get the sulfates. My products don't have any sulfates or silicones in there preservatives that will actually harm the hair, strip the hair from hair coloring, strip the hair from all its natural oils, and not infuse the hair with all the wonderful ingredients that they need, that, that the scalp and the hair needs. Really, um, please, do yourself a favor and just put health back into your hair. If you complain about your hair, oh, I'm having a bad hair day, it's your shampoo. It is. Your cuticle is not tight. You're buying that shampoo for the suds. For the smell, the, the scent that is probably a synthetic, which is a phthalate. So go down to Whole Foods, go to your local health food store, and get yourself a natural shampoo, preferably mine. Anyway, um, get your, just get yourself a natural shampoo that is infused with herbs and beautiful ingredients that will stimulate your hair. Because really, we, we have integrity, uh, most of us out there in the health industry um, and we want you to have really healthy um, beautiful skin and hair and anyway so let me tell you real quick uh, the shampoo I use the shampoo uh, during uh, the summertime because of the humidity for a uh, facial cleanser it's awesome in the winter time I use the no scary hairy as a facial cleansing oil this the ingredients in this product because it has no sulfates in it I would put in a cleanser um, the calendula will not only help people that have acneic skin because it's a clarifying, it's antiseptic, but the um, tangerine will help with um, acne scars. There's so many ingredients in here that will help you, and it's an awesome cleanser. I use it all the time, um, so you should love it. And it's you know that's like a double whammy in your shampoo. You use it as a, a, a facial conditioner. I mean facial cleanser. Anyway, the conditioner. Okay. The conditioner, if you use it when it's halfway gone, if you fill it up with distilled water or purified water and shake it back up again, it will be thick. Because let me show you. Look, that is really thick conditioner. I could hold my hand up here for probably five minutes and it wouldn't plop on me. So, I mean, you really want to use a conditioner that not only is a really wonderful value because you get two in one, but you want to use a conditioner that has all the wonderful ingredients that I just told you about in there. Okay. Um, oh, also, how could I forget? Use also the conditioner as a shaving cream. Your legs will look so shiny and beautiful. Oh my gosh, you'll be thanking me. Uh, you really will be thanking me because your legs will look so gorgeous and shiny and fabulously conditioned. Um, I have, my sister has really, really dry skin and uses this as um, a shaving cream and you know she loves it she loves it and she barely has to put any lotion on her skin anymore after she shaves because it's such a good conditioner for the skin um so speaking of legs uh this is our brand new sunless strip our sunless strip that we have now um, was not dark enough for everybody so we made it darker and it's so awesome. I put it on last night, and I'm thinking I'm looking pretty dark, pretty tan. I could probably put it on again. And we call it medium dark because, um, you know, if you put it on once, it'll be medium. If you put it on twice, it'll be dark. So I'll be talking about this in my next video. Isn't it pretty? Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really enjoy doing these videos for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you next time I do my other one. Bye. Have a good day.